All right, we got the Behringer Europower EP2500. This amplifier gets 1200 watts into 2 ohms, I think. I don't remember, but um, it gets 500 watts per channel into 8 ohms and 750 watts per channel into 4 ohms. So it's pretty powerful, and it took me a while to figure it out. I looked around, all it says was, you know, 1200 watts at 2 ohms. It's like, I don't care about 2 ohms. I don't use 2 ohms. I use 8 ohms or 4 ohms, whatever. So pretty much, this amplifier weighs 48 pounds, and uh, as you see over here, you got uh, your two, your channel A and B for speaker A and B, and subwoofer, which is down there. Anyways, um, you got the signal, and then you got clip. And clipping is when you're playing the music too loud for the amplifier to take it. Now, and um, I'll go ahead and say right now, I have a Crown XLS 402 that I have been using for a long time. And <clears throat> actually, it's been more along the lines of small gigs I've been doing, you know, with that. And then just recently, I got into weddings, which is a lot of fun. A lot of work also. Anyways, and then I was DJing it, and my amp started to clip. Not this one, but the uh, Crown XLS 402. Crown XLS 402 gets about 300 watts into 4 ohms, and I'm guessing 500 into... Or, excuse me, it does not... Get, it gets 300 watts into 8 ohms. I'm not entirely sure how much it gets into 4 ohms, because my speakers are 8 ohms. And anyways, it's obviously not enough for a wedding, so... I would suggest the Behringer Europower Professional and Sound Reinforcement Series. It works great. The sound is just as good as Crown or QSC, and it's cheap. I got this for 200, or excuse me, 350 bucks, but I have found websites where you can get it for 250. Whatever, it's too late. I like that I'm attached. I'm attached to it, and uh, it works. Two space, as everything else is. And the it's got uh, banana jacks for the outputs as well as uh, speaker on or speak on. The inputs are XLR and quarter inch. That's pretty much what you got. It's also got dip switches, which will allow you to fl flip them up for each channel if you don't want it to clip. It'll if it's starting to clip, it'll automatically go down in volume, so it will stop doing that, which is pretty nice. And it's got other stuff if you're using it for specific things like uh, specifically for a subwoofer or something. Anyways, and that's pretty much the uh, Behringer Euro Power. You got the power on, power off switch, and got your fan right there. It's pretty nice, or it blows out stuff. So, yeah, 2 ohms is 1200 watts per channel power amplifier, that's all they want to tell you is it's 2 ohms at 1200 watts. Well, here's the real stuff. Like I already told you, 8 ohms is 500 watts per channel, and 4 ohms is 500 watts per channel. 750. I'm tired. You don't get enough sleep during the night. Anyways, um, it's a very powerful amplifier. It's good. I'm not sure the specifications on the EP 1500, but this amplifier is good. I love it. I got it about a week ago, and I just played it for like an hour and a half, tempering around with it, you know, seeing what works good, beat mixing and whatnot, and it really does keep the beats right there. Uh, you know, it doesn't clip easily, because A, I wasn't pushing it to the max, and because, you know, it's just a house and I can't do that. Neighbors get mad had neighbors call in once because we were having a party and obviously we didn't tell them that we we're going to be playing music. <sighs> they called the, you know, the Loma Linda security or something or whatever, the Loma Linda, whatever you call it, and then they called us, tell you to turn the music down. Then we told them again and we have a party going on. They were fine with it. So, you know, I would suggest getting this one if you're going to be DJing weddings. Either one of these or two of them and move them through however you want to do that. And But this is definitely a powerful enough amp to work with what you're working at. <clears throat> cool. Behringer Europower EP2500.